So now we are going to discuss about mycology. We have computer virology and bacteriology. Next is mycology. Mycology is really easy topic. We don't have so many. It's either yeast or mold. Again, we have individual classification, superficial mycosis or, you know, subcutaneous mycosis, dimorphic and uh, systemic. Only four groups. In that, whatever the fungi are coming. So each one is individually different, interesting, and questions can be asked easily. And you will not forget it. Okay. So let's start. It's easy subject. So mycology. Mycology means, you know, mycology is basically study of what? Your fungi. Okay, and it's eukaryotes. Okay, because uh, you know that uh, fungi, parasite, they are eukaryotes. And now cell membrane. Cell membrane, what is the important thing that has characteristic for fungi is ergosterol. Ergosterol, remember, okay. Cholesterol is in mycoplasma. Ergosterol is for fungi. Okay, that's the important part here. Cell wall has some important substance called what? Chitin. Chitin. Okay, that's it. These are the few morphological uh, based questions they can ask. Okay. This one and this one, cellular astitin. That's it. Okay. Now, next, what about the antifungal drug actions? So, when you talk about morphology, that means then we have to talk about the uh, their individual actions, drugs action or antifungal action. So, if you see, like this is a, a schematic representation, common drugs which we're using in the uh, fungal infections. Okay. So, first one, let's start with amphotericin. Amphotericin is a very powerful drug. You see what amphotericin does? It, does? it causes some pores on the cell wall. It acts on the cell wall, makes some pores. Okay. What about endocrine? This is also important. This is also important. Uh, uh, echinocandins. Echinocandins, what is they do? They usually, uh, what they do? They inhibit the cell wall synthesis. Cell wall ka inhibit karta. Okay. Cell wall inhibiting property. Right. Okay, so mainly amphotericin echinocandins uh, act on cell wall. Your graciofulvin, you know, it acts on the mic microtubular system. Okay, that is spindles. We call it spind mitotic spindles. It inhibits that and it causes the it has its action, graciofulvin. Plocytosin, you know, it acts on the DNA. Cyto means it's of the word cyto itself says the DNA. It goes and inhibits the DNA of the fungi, individual fungi. Azoles, the common, most commonly used is azoles. So this azoles and Terbinafine, you would have heard about this terbinafine also. These two, the main mechanism is to inhibit the ergosterol synthesis, inhibits the ergosterol synthesis. That's it. Got it? So, amphotericin number one, number two is your echinocandins. They are, they are actions on cell wall and grisophilin and mitotic spindle number three. Number four is your flocytosin. And the most important one are azoles. Assaults that inhibits the ergosterol synthesis. That's it. Okay. So this is a basic mechanism. More drugs should be discussing in pharmacology. But now let's uh, see what are they can ask. So as I told you, amphotericin mechanism is already we just discussed now. It forms a pore in the fungal membrane. Assaults inhibit the synthesis of ergosterol. Ergosterol. That's what I was repeating. Ergosterol is very, very important here. Now, let's say the uses. Uh, these are the azoles, fluconazole, atoconazole, posoconazole, very popular drugs you must have heard during the COVID season, especially posoconazole, atoconazole. But now, you will tell me what are the uses. Fluconazole is used usually in which infection? Candida. Any candida infection, okay, it's, it's a vaginal discharge or oral candida, We the drug which we give is fluconazole, okay, common drug. Atoconazole is usually used in which one? Aspergillus. Aspergillus infection, okay, aspergillus infection. Atoconazole and posoconazole is used during the mucor, any mucor infection. Okay, mucor infection. That's it. So these are the common things, common drugs which we are using in azoles. We are using other one is ketoconazole. Ketoconazole. Uh, see the only problem is uh, ketoconazole usually we use for the systemic use only. Any systemic infection happens, then we are using ketoconazole. What is the main side effect? That was a question frequently asked. The side effect is gynecomastia. 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 Okay, that's it. When you are taking keto, you will get gynecomastia. That's it. Okay. Now, classification of fungi. Classification of fungi. See, the fungi looks like this. Usually, uh, macroscopically, when you see through the eye, when you take the culture plate and you see, it is usually two forms. Either mold or it is yeast. Yeast is like a paste. Yeast paste jaisa hai. Aise soch ro, yeast is like a paste. Okay. So, two forms. Mold. Mold to pata hai. Aapko bread hai na? Bread, if you don't eat bread for a long time and if you leave, uh, fungal infection aata, that is mold basically okay so the infection also caused by some of the molds so yeast is this one okay it's yeast is usually causing infection inside a body both are. so now uh, see that is the macroscopically microscopically when you see the mold 
when you see the mold, it is like this. It looks like this. Okay, high phase. You get high phase. Okay, a mold usually microscopically when you see it is high phase. It's basically high phase. That's the question. A mold is usually high phase. But when you see the yeast, white color paste like yeast, and when you see microscopically, it can be two types, either like this or this. The first one is budding yeast cell. This is called BYC, budding yeast cell. Budding yeast cell, we call it. Budding yeast cell. Because you see here, the cell is budding out, right? These cells are budding out. This is the main cell. You say cell budding more like this, okay? So if you have a question also, like if a picture like this, that's budding yeast cell. That is common. Other one is the, this is pseudo hyphae. This is not really budding. This is the hyphae, but you call it a pseudo hyphae. Okay, so either this or this can happen, right? These are the common things. So, you know, uh, now we'll talk about a little bit examples also. When we talk about yeast, when we talk about yeast, right? When you talk about yeast, it's reproduced by budding BU. That's what I call budding yeast cells. Okay, that's a question. So, common example for yeast is your crypto. Which one? Cryptococcus. 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 Neoformis. Okay, cryptococcus. Cryptococcus is the one yeast. Classic yeast. Cryptococcus is the example. Cla example frequently asked. And saccharomyces also plus or minus. Not that much asked. But cryptococcus, you have to know. But yeast like, if the question is yeast like, it's a yeast, but it's not real yeast. It's yeast like that which produces what? Pseudo hyphae. May not be the chiral. It does not a real hyphae. It's a pseudo hyphae. False hyphae. Okay. So example for yeast like is candida. Candida. Don't forget. This was also asked many times. Okay. Yeast means cryptococcus. Yeast like means candida. Okay. Candida you can put in yeast also. It's not a problem. Candida you can put in yeast also. But ideally real true yeast is your cryptococcus. But uh, pseudo uh, for yeast like means you go for candida. Molds too, you know, all the recent COVID, mucacata, muca, rhizopus, aspergillus, dermatophytes, all these things are molds. Okay. This means what is hyphae. They have a plastic thing is hyphae. They have hyphae. That's it. Okay. Now, dimorphic fungi. Dimorphic naam mein hai, di, di means two. Two forms. They have two forms. Okay. They exist in both yeast and in the mold form. So, usually what happens? At 37 degree, 37 degree matlab, it is inside of our body. Body ke andar hai. Body ke andar hai. Usually which one? Yeast form. At 25 degree. 25 degree is basically environment. Room mein. Room mein kya hota hai? Bread hota hai. Bread to room mein hota hai. Room temperature is 25 degree. So, it is mold form. M-O-U-L-D, mold form. Okay, got it? Very simple. Yeast mold, two forms hoga, dimorphic mein. This question can be asked. Temperature, aapko confuse karne ke liye, they can ask. Okay, so 37 degree, it's 37 degree means always our body is that temperature. So body ke andar, candida hai grow hota hai na, candida is yeast, candida cryptococcus, yeast. So that's what, mold, no, in, in, we grow in a lab also 37 degrees Celsius only, you understand? Either way you remember, either body or you grow it in the incubator ke andar hai grow hota hai na, so that's what 37 degrees Celsius. And 25 mm mold grows. Okay. That's what some of the fungus have this property. They can have, they can be mold and yeast. Okay. What are the examples? Examples are individually we are going to discuss later. But very, very simple. Dimorphic agiato, katarna cheese yadana chaye. Jabkoi blood, any in war or whatever, you know, whatever things happen during the war. Like what, what happens in the war? War mein blast hota hai. There will be blast. There will be hit. Somebody is going to hit on someone, hit. And then there will be a cock. You're going to cock fight. You know, cock fight, cock. And then paracock. Cock means paracock also. Paracock, right? And then spot. Spot the place. You know, spot and put the bomb there. Spot. And pen. Pen say kisi ko. Kill someone with a pen. Okay. It's terrorizing things. I, I don't do that, but I'm just saying for example, okay. So dimorphic fungi means anything related with the war. So blast, blastomycosis. Okay, you understand, right? Why is it, why use all this word? So blast means blast karo, blastomycosis, hit karo, histoplasma, uh, cock karo, cochidiosis, paracock karo, paracochidiosis, uh, spot karo, sporotrix, pen karo, penicillium marnifi. Very simple. Itna hi and definite question. Dimorphic is examiner's favorite sub. I know all of my colleagues uh, or my seniors, uh, faculty members, if they're going to take question, they will have this question. Dimorphic will be choice. So you can't mix it. Because exception may now chromoblast ajata. Except which of the following is not uh, this thing is a puchka question. Aata hai. So chromoblast is not uh, chromoblast is not dimorphic fungi. Usually chromoblast option may hai. So please remember. And not not also pneumocystis. Pneumocystis be aega. Sometimes they give pneumocystis. That is also not dimorphic. Because to confuse you, remember this one. Blast, hit cock, paracock, 
a sporotic spin. Even if you have mnemonic, mnemonic it's, it might confuse you. So don't go stick to that mnemonic. Listen to this. Very simple. Hit karo, blast karo, spot karo, pen karo, cock karo, paracock karo. Bas, ho gaya. Aapko demorphic fungi classification. Individual disease will tell you later. Now, based on the reproduction, we have sexual and asexual spores. So you don't have to know all the morphology and all, how it looks. Just see this example, okay? They are like this. See, arthrospore means it will be like this. Arthrospores rect rectangular like this. And then uh, these are the chlamydospores are like this. Okay, sporangiophores and conidiospores. That is for detailed study. But now important is what are sexual spores and what are asexual spores. That is important. So this is how You have so many classifications. So I don't want you guys to, you know, 19 subjects. Imagine how many things, mnemonics and things you remember. So I don't want you to suffer with those. Listen to me. I'll make it easy and funny. Remember. Sex. Who are all are sexy? There are few people sexy. Sexual spores, few people are sexy. Who are the sexy people? Aishwarya. Ash. Our ash is Aishwarya. You know that, right? Aishwarya. That means ascospore. Dusra kone basi. Hamara basi is sexy. Sexy basi. Basidospore. Ho gaya. Dio. Koi bhi deodorant use karega. Oh sexy hai. Dio. That's called eutromyces. Eutromyces is imperfective. Fungi imperfective bolte. Imperfect look. Imperfect look. Dio use karta hai. And imperfect is sexy. These days imperfect is sexy. You understand? Dio and imperfect people are sexy. Imperfect are sexy these days. Okay. Dusra kone. Jiglo. Jiglo you would have had. G I G L O usually jiglo G I G L O may jiglo jiglos are the strippers. Strippers are also sexy. You got it? Very, very simple. Ash, Aishwarya is sexy, Basi is sexy, uh, Dio, whoever using imperfect people and deodorant using people are sexy and asko sexy. So is kya hoga apko? exception question may definitely will have a question which of the following is not a sexual score. You can easily rule out. You can easily rule out what? Arthro, blasto, and chlamydia spores are not. They are asexual. Okay. Skill, see, because there's A, A. After confused, if you put mnemonic, you'll get confused. Because either be A, A, either be A, A. Either be B, A, either be B, A. So you'll make mistakes. So forget about it. Remember, Ash, Bessie, sexy. Dio is sexy. Jiglo, Jiglo, Zygo. Zygo, Jiglo are sexy. Finished. Okay. Right. Now we are going to the next topic. Identification of the fungi. Identification of fungi. The first thing is this picture, I may repeat it many in fungi in uh, bacteria also I showed you. This is a capsule, right? This is a capsule. The capsule has been stained and the background is dark color. So, this is a, this is what? This is a, this is a negative stain. This is a negative stain. Okay, first one is negative stain. Indian ink. Indians, Indians, Indians and Negro. Indians and Nigerians, yeah? Negrosin. Negrosin. They are the two, Indian ink and Negrosin are the two for capsule. So this is what, this is a cryptococcus. This is a cryptococcus. We're seeing here, right? The back, the white color is the capsule. So that's a cryptococcus. That means, what's the same Indian ink we're using? So this is the only, 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 again and again, 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 I'm going to repeating again, again, until it's fixed in it. But there's only one fungi capsule at a crypto. There are few. That's not for you. That is for high class. Uh, when you're going to do a PhD or something in their research, you, you, you will learn it. Now for examination purpose, there's only one capsulated uh, fungi that is cryptococcus. Cryptococcus, cryptococcus neoformans. Okay. And remember, we do what reaction? Cooling selection. Capsule to most of the capsules are what? Polysaccharidus. Which is a coin selection positive. Cooling selection positive. Cooling selection positive. All except of Bacillus anthrax. Again, I'm repeating. Bacillus anthrax me kya hai? Bacillus anthrax me it is polypeptide. Polypeptide hota hai. Uska which is my coin selection positive. McFadden selection comes positive. Cryptococcus me everywhere. Polysaccharide, polysaccharide, cryptococcus, your uh, uh, streptococcus pneumonia, HN influenza, koi bhi sare capsules, your polysaccharide. So, coolants will come positive. So, yaha par poly, uh, bacillus anthrax is called Maddie, 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 Maddie. Basic ka boyfriend, Maddie. Okay, if you forgot also. Now, wet mount. Wet mount, wet mount to kuch nahi. What do you do? Wet mount me matlab, apu smear me kya karogi? You'll just take a smear. Uh, this is smear. Smear ko par kya karogi? You, you put the colony, whatever the colony you want to see, yeast or mold, kuch bhi ho, dolo. Uske upar you put KOH or sometimes directly the sample. You put the, uh, you know, uh, one either you put directly the sample, put the KOH, the sample ko upar dalke, then put a cover slip on it and send a microscope. You use either KOH or the most important thing is leptophenol cotton, which is very, very popular. Either 10% KOH or LPCB. 10% KOH is important. 10% which is a commonly used one. We are using very commonly 10% NH or KOH only. And also another one is your uh, uh, yeah, lactophenol cotton blue because the, the bacteria, no, oh, sorry, the fungi, all the cells, touches, everything becomes blue color. So it will be easy to see under microscope. That's what we say LPC. Okay. So wet mount. So Indian ink for capsule, Indian ink for capsule, hogya, wet mount, you can use especially LPCB and other special stains. We have special stains, a lot of special stains. You just only have to know the name. Uh, Gomori methinamine, they have asked a few times. This exam, in exam, this question was asked. So what are the special stains of fungi? One is Gomori methinamine. Other one is fluorescent. Which fluorescent stain you know for uh, fungus? Calcofluor. 
calcofluor, calcofluor. Okay, like acrylene orange we have for, you remember? Acrylene orange we have for plasmodium, malaria killer. Yes. And uh, uh, so like this, so these, there are so an aurum and rhodum and for microbiotin tuberculosis. These are all the fluorescent um, stains. Okay. Now here, calcofluor is for your fungi. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. You forget also, there is hepis here. Okay. God always help you, you know, and he gives a lot of clue. Hep for fungi. So fungi kelia, you use fluorescent. And pass is per iodic acid check also we use and hematoxylin neosin, negrosin. Okay. Negrosin already told you again for capsule, negrosin and India ink. Culture media. So only one culture media. Very, we have many, many we have. But then the commonly used one is STA. This is a question they can ask frequently. Sabrod. S A B B O A R O U D. Sabrods. Dextrose. Uh, dextrose. Agar. Sabrods. Dextrose. Agar. Sabrod. Dextrose. Agar. Or S D A. Agar. Frequently asked question. Apart from that, we have so many uh, individual cryptococcus. We have separate, separate uh, bird seed. Agar. So many corn meal. Agar. Have. But then commonly used is S D A. Agar. That's what I want you to remember. Okay. Corn meal. Agar. And other things. Not individual. We will see. Okay. Right. Now let's go. This general. Uh, in generally about uh, my general mycology should know that much only. Now the individual diseases. So let's start with your superficial fungal infection. Superficial fungal infection, the, this disease, this question is repeated many times, this picture. What you're seeing? You're seeing the hypopigmented patches. This all this thing, these are all the hypopigmented patches. So we're going to talk about that. So you already got a clue what it is. Hypopigmented patch. That means it is pitreasis versicolor. Very good. Pitreasis versicolor. Okay, we're going to talk about that. So this is the first disease is pitreasis versicolor. So usually on the trunk region, on the neck and trunk region, you see, you're seeing this type of lesions. If you're seeing this type of lesions, that is tenia or pitreasis versicolor, which is caused by which one? Which is caused by which one? What is the, what is that? What is that fungi name? Mala cesia, mala, mala cesia. Furfur, malassezia, furfur. You know, this question was asked many times, so you have to remember. Malassezia, furfur, that's just a question. Pitreous vegetables cause me malassezia, furfur. So I always remember it's mala, 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 mala. Mala got what? Mala has pitreous versicolor. So what is the pigment? Hypopigmented patches. Hypopigmented patches. Hypopigmented patches. Okay. Okay. And then see this picture. This picture is very interesting and many times repeated question also. So when you take a patch and then you make, this is the lactophenol cotton blue. See, this is a blue color stain. So you're doing a LPCP stain, LPCP stain. And then if you do it, what are things you are seeing inside? What is this? This appearance? You can say, you know, that it's a very delicious one, eating one. What is that? Mala likes spaghetti and meatball. So it's like either spaghetti and meatball, or you can say banana and grapes, banana and grapes. So mala likes to eat. Please remember, mala likes to eat. Okay. Kya kya pasand hai mala ko? So there are two things. So now I'm going to write here. So on KO skin crepping, you do 10% KOH or you do LPCB, whatever. So in staining, you'll see what? Two things. One is the spaghetti, S-P-A-G-E-T-T, -E spaghetti and meatball. Spaghetti and meatball. Please don't forget spaghetti meatball. Aapko mala ka favorite hai, pitreasis versicolor. Or it is also called banana and grapes. Banana and grapes. Appearance. Delicious, no? Delicious, right? I like this. That's, that's what hyperpigmented patch, the spaghetti meatball, banana grid. This is the question they'll ask frequently. Ask. Okay. So first superficial infection ho gaya. We are talking now fungal ka superficial skin infections. So first is pitch special color. Commonly you will see with our neighbors, patient, everything and all. So it's expected question. Tinea nigra. Tinea nigra. How to remember? Tinea nigra is another disease. Tinea nigra. If you remember Tinea nigra. One second, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now, Tinea nigra, if you see, uh, uh, it is caused by, how to remember, Tinea nigra, Venki. Venki is a black hot guy. Black hot guy. Okay. Venki is a black hot guy. So, how to remember, Exophila is otherwise called Hortier Venki. Okay. Tinea nigra or Nigra means black, no? So remember, Nigra is black. Cone black, a Venki is black. Venki is black. And is a hot black guy. So, what do you say? Hot ka hot ho gaya? Venko ho gaya? This question can be asked. And this is usually seen in the palms and soles. It can come. Derma may, they will, they will tell detail. But now I'm just talking the cost of Because uh, in my in microgical point of view, you should know the cost of agent name. So, hot ye Venki. Okay. Hot ye Verniki. Hot ye V-E-R actually. Verniki. Okay. Now, Pedra. Pedra is basically a lesion of hair sap. So hair shaft may it is uh this is the hair 
This happens in the shaft part, you will have the disease that is the lesion. So, either it can be white petra or black petra. Very simple. White petra is white bijli. White bijli. Okay. Very trichosporan, that is cos trichospora and bijli. SAR color. Bijli is always white. We have one more bijli. You remember, don't confuse with this bijli and that bijli. That bijli is endemic syphilis. Endemic area may bijli chaye. Endemic syphilis. Endemic syphilis is uh, uh, other name is bijli. That is in the view. We were talking in the syphilis toponym. And talking about the uh, tryponema endemicum. If you remember endemicum, uh, uh, when we're talking about your uh, tryponema pallidum for syphilis, tryponema endemicum, we were there. We were, we were talking about what? Bijel. The disease name is Bijel. Okay. Endemic syphilis it causes. Okay. Uh, now, the black pedra is black again, black hot guys. So it's pedra hortia. It's pedra hortia. Black is always hot, hot, hot. Remember, either we nigra me hortia again, hortia vernike. Either be black pitra, so means black or hot. Okay, black guys are hot guys. Okay, now tinea. What about tinea infection? So this is a common, common infection, and repeated questions are asked from this topic only, and you will also see day by day. What is tinea? Otherwise called dermatophytes. This is the dermatophytes. Dermatophytes means don't think too much. It's basically tinea or ringworm infection. Ringworm, I mean, in summer time, you know that there are round, round rashes, you know, happening around the neck region, axillary region, in your foot, in your, sometimes in the fingers, in the groin area, in the bar, everywhere, okay? So, there is not a single place left with this tinea. That is the ringworm, or dermatophytes or ringworm infection. So, in that, we have three, uh, this uh, tinea, it's caused by three important uh, the species, you can, you, can, you can say three groups. They are either trichophyton or epidermophyton, three groups of fungi or microsporon. Trichophyton, the name is three. Tri is three. So, it, must, it, must kya hai? it affects your skin, nail, and hair. Bas, anna? Skin, nail, hair. Thino. Okay. Epidermophyton. Mein, epiderm means skin. Hai. Skin to skin. Hai. So, epi, epiderm means it's sort of skin attached. No? So, skin and nail. Just skin and nail. This was also a question asked. Please remember. This whole topic is important. Microsporon may skin to sub me hata hai. Micro, you know, micro hair. Bal to micro hota hai na. Bal to micro hota hai. So hair. Bas. Ye yaad karo. Micro matlab hair. Hair to micro hai. Bal is micro. So microsporum is skin and hair. Epidermophyton matlab skin and nail. Very, very simple. Very easy. That's what I love mycology. Fungus is one of the easiest, easiest topic. Never ever make a mistake in this. Bacteriology mistake, immunology mistake is forgivable, but not mistaken fungus. Okay. It's very easy. So just you, it's like you need only 20 minutes revision per entire micro. I'll make it like that easy for you guys. So you will not forget. Okay. Tinea capitis. Tinea capitis is a scalp infection. Now, just be seeing the picture, you can tell. This, I know surely they've asked this question many times. The first one, the first one, what you're seeing is the pavus. The crust, then there's a crusty crust, crust here, 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 scal a scalp may say a crust, 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 hai, that is fawus. It's a tinea capitis infection only. And this is called kirion, kirion, like a boggy swelling, boggy swelling is kirion. Now, what are the costive agents? So, tinea capitis fawus is caused by, fawus is caused by, you know, you'll always confuse. Kaise yaad karna hai? How to remember, sir? Sir, how to remember this fawus? Fawus to pata hai, fawus is, if you have your favorite, Kone Hamara favorite actress Shonali Bentre. Shonali Bentre. Shonali Bentre. Shonali Bentre is a favorite girl. Shon... Yes, it's Shonali Bentre. Okay, she's a favorite girl for everyone. And uske pas kya hota hai? She got capitis. Tinea capitis. Bas. Deko in that program, in the dance program, she always scratches her head. Shonali Bentre. Okay, that is because. She is having pebbles. I'm kidding. Okay, just for your under. So, iska matlab kya hai? why I said uh, Shonali? Because S H O uh, S H O L E N H Sholini. Okay, it's, 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 the, the name is very tricky. So, okay, this is caused by trichophyton Sholini. 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 Okay, trichophyton Sholini. That's what it is. Uh, this is the question. What about Kirion? Kirion, Kirion, how to remember? You know, Hamara mental, hai na, mental viru. Hamara mental viru, hai na, uska Kirion agya. Bichari usko kirio nagya. So sad, you know, mental viru. Okay. I think you already got right. So this boggy swelling, boggy swelling madla. Kiska ta viru koi bi viru. You take Virudha Shewalk or Virat Kohli, whoever you want. Okay. Any viru, mental viru got kirion. So it is caused by trichophyton, mentographites, mentographites. 
बियर्ड है तो बार बार है है ना बार बार सिच बिकॉज बार बार ये सेव करता है ना सो बियर्ड मीन्स बार बार सिच क्वेश्चन वॉज आज एंड उंगियम उंगियम मीन्स कहते उंगियम उंगियम मीन्स उंगली उंगली सो इट इज फिंगर्स फिंगर्स उंगियम यूजली अफेक्ट्स द फिंगर्स ये भी क्वेश्चन है टीनिया उंगियम अफेक्ट्स विच पार्ट फिंगर्स नॉट फार्मर्स हो सकते ओके पीडिया पेडिस पेडिस मतलब फूड कौन से फूड इसका एथलेटिक फूड एथलेट्स फूड वी ऑल्सो कॉल इट एथलेट्स फूड एथलेट्स फूड ओके so uh, excess sweating socks excess sweating me in between the fingers it comes okay i'll show you the picture so this is the athlete foot this is the athlete foot see this one is athlete foot so it's in the foot so they can come between the leg region and this one this is tinea cruris also call as what jocks itch a b question hai jocks itch jocks itch is caused by it's otherwise called tinea cruris it's caused by again your tinea infection okay got it this also question they can ask repeated itching and usually unilateral side unilateral side mein hota hai repeated itching That's a job stage. Okay, all due to excess uh, sunlight, excess sweating, usually excess sweating. And then what you have to do? A sample is asked to you do an LPCB so mount, diagnose the LPCB mount, and then you see how it looks. So usually we have micro, we we have two things. We have uh, micro conidia and macro conidia. Micro conidia not that much useful. Macro conidia is useful. Based on that, we are going to during microscopy time when you are doing microscopy. Based on that only we are going to classify. See, see, these are the for trichophyton. It is this is for trichophyton. Microsporum, it's like this, and epidermal phyton is like this. Trichophyton, you see, the microcone looks like a pencil. Pencil, okay. Try pencil, try pencil, try pencil. Yes, yeah, do it. Try pencil. Microsporum is spindle shape. Microsporum, yes, say yes for spindle. Microsporum, yes for this is spindle shape. This is this is the spindle shape. Okay. So this is the question. It's number two, microsporum is spindle shape. And epiderm of a don, it looks club shape. It looks like a club. See, I say club. Just a club. Just say, na. It looks like a club. I'm sorry. Just a bit. Ah, club shape. Okay. Now see the uh, thing. So this is the question they'll ask. So uh, based on this, they'll see which of the following has pencil. Pen, na. So try pen. Try pen. Man, sure. This is try pen. Pencil. Try pencil. Try pencil. Try pen pencil. Whatever. Try pencil. Okay. Try pencil. Pen pencil. Epiderm of phyton is club shape. You have to remember microsporum. Yes, say to spindle shape, right? And is me a good thing. That microconidia is abundant in trichophyton. Means two no me nahi hai. We don't have microsporum in microsporum. Me microconidia nahi hai. Micro me micro nahi hai. You understand? Microconidia micro nahi hai. So micro jada kahan par hai? Trichophyton me hai. This is also one question the last. Okay, that's what I'm stressing on this. Either they might give you the picture until to identify or whatever. So whenever you see pencil means try. Club means epidermal phyton, spindle means microspora. Very very simple. Now subcutaneous fungal infection. Subcutaneous fungal infection. If you see see the discharge, these are the things. Typical sinus discharge, swelling. That means that is a discharge. That is a discharge. So sub. Uh, so we are in our next topic. We have finished the superficial infection. Now we are going to the subcutaneous fungal infection. Subcutaneous fungal infection. The first important thing is mycetoma. The name is of mycetoma. You know any mycetoma or moderate food we call. The characteristic features are swelling. Swelling to agya. They go swelling, and there's a sinus. You can see lot of sinus here, and there's a discharge. First discharge with granules. This is the characteristic feature. Okay, a mycetoma should have a swelling, a sinus, and a discharge. As a picture agya, so you have to think about mycetoma. Okay, mycetoma. So now difference. We have two types: acne mycetoma, you mycetoma. So how to how to differentiate? Very very simple. Very very easy. How? A for apple. B for ball. That means A and A is after A comes B. After E comes F. U mycetoma. So A ke baad B aata hai. So bacteria. It is caused by bacteria. Okay. Actinoma mycetoma is caused by bacteria. U mycetoma is caused by fungi. Question. 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 Colors of the granules. Colors of the granules. Already told you. Bacteria usually it is yellow color discharge. Yellowish white or white. Yellowish and white discharge. But here. Black to brown, fungi. So, you know, black or brown is what is usually black or brown color, mostly. Okay, especially Madurella species. Here, except is there, actino Madure pellet tree, pellet tree, tree, re, re, red color, red color. This is the red color one. 
ये रेड कलर आता है एक्टम सो दिस एक्सेप्शन सो दे माइट आस्क यू दिस ऑल आर क्वेश्चन 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 एवरीथिंग इज क्वेश्चन व्हाइट कलर कहां पर एक्रिमोनियम एंड फ्यूजरियम आल्सो दिस आल्सो आस्क एक्रिमोनियम एंड फ्यूजरियम अदरवाइज ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट एंड साइनस इन बैक्टीरिया में साइनस विल बी ऑलवेज मल्टीपल साइनस यूजुअली मल्टीपल साइनस होते हैं मेनी मेनी बट इन यू यू मे सेट में फंगल इज यूजुअली फ्यू साइनस बिकॉज इट डिलेड प्रोसेस है इतना जल्दी नहीं टेक्स लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू अकर सो इट इज स्लो सो ओनली फ्यू साइनस यू विल सी so treatment bacteria hota hai antibiotic if you might say to mafan jay to antifungal that's it this is actinomatum you might say to itna ye a for b e for e e for e is you might say to mafan jay and that is how it looks that's it okay so we finished now that's over so first uh, mycetoma is over we are in subcutaneous now the second one second one tell me this picture is repeated many times repeated so by seeing only i should say you should see this row of ulcers row of ulcers along the lymphatic ulcers lymphatic so kya hai this sporo trichosis very good sporo the trichosis sporo trichosis okay ye aapko yaad aana chahiye because this is definite question i will i can write and give you they they will not miss it examiner's favorite question sporo trichosis uske liye dusra naam kya hai rose gardner rose gardner rose gardner this is rose gardner this is rose gardner usually rose gardner ke hi aata hai garden mein kada why because because uh, see first of all what is the causative agent isko bolte hain hum sporo trix sporo trix मैंने now us se listen se up you will take the sample and you will do the lpcb lpcb as a further stain so what are the appearance you can see see here is picture say this picture also it, you can have this picture also so this picture the first this one the body name is called asteroid body dekho it looks like an asteroid also it looks like a gobi asteroid or asteroid or asteroid body or we got, we also call uh, sorry sigar bundle i'm sorry not gobi sigar bundle it looks like a sigar bundle here if you see in this picture you see how does it look it looks like a you know a flower it it just looks like a flower the microconidia it looks like a flower okay so that's the thing these are the questions you will have so uh the yeast form you see sigar bundle or asteroid body question asteroid okay garden mein kya hota hai asteroid hota hai garden mein karte gardener wherever he works you see the asteroid asteroid or sugar ab a gardener hai na ye gardener kya karta hai sigar peeta hai gardeners they usually smoke sugar i don't smoke sorry they they smoke the sugar okay sugar okay remember that they smoke the sugar while working sugar is that's what sugar bundle one more sugar where we where we saw where we saw who will smokes think in uh, in bacteria i'm so glad i asked this question here it is leprosy patient mycobacterium leprosy leprosy people also have what they eat gobi and they drink they smoke they smoke and gobi they eat gobi and then they smoke sugar they smoke okay leprosy very simple wow amazing no it's very good i love this Yeah, and mold form is rows of flower-like conidia. That's it. I already showed the picture. Right now, next one, rhinosporidiosis. Uh, we are almost coming. Only two more left. So rhinosporidiosis, very simple. Is the causative agent is rhinosporidium. Rhinosporidium C berry. Rhinosporidium C berry. C berry. Okay, this is on the coastal people side. Me, uh, it's very common. So this one, what happens is that uh, see, it causes this one. It causes nasal polypoid mucus uh, masses. See, it looks like a big polypoid inside the nose. Case it, see, it looks like what fruit? Strawberry nose. Strawberry. Strawberry nose. Strawberry nose. Strawberry nose. I'm 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 going to repeat it fast. And there are other strawberries. You remember strawberry tongue? Where does it come from? Strawberry tongue is seen here. Scarlet fever. Strawberry lips come from Kawasaki disease. And there are more strawberry vagina is seen in the Trichomonas vaginalis. And then we have a strawberry nose here. Strawberry nose is what in the rhinus bridium seaberry. How many strawberries we have? And never make mistake in strawberry. Okay, right. Strawberry nose or mulberry nose we can. This fungus cannot be cultured. Yeah. Now the last one. Chromobla. In in the uh, we were in the subcutaneous in picture. In subcutaneous next is a chromoblastoma mycosis. Here you already have a clue. Chromoblast. I get to one thing. It's not dimorphic. Please remember, it's not dimorphic. Blastoma mycosis is a dimorphic. Chromoblastoma mycosis. No. That's why I'm stressing on that. Okay. Chromoblastoma mycosis. Chrome color producing fungi. 
here uh, it's caused by pielophora and cladopielophora. Okay, two things. Transmission is usually traumatic in nature. And how the lesion looks? See the what? Looks like this what? What, what, what? This what? Okay, what, what, what? The lesion is like this. This is the characteristic feature. Now, when you stain, when you stain this what, whatever the lesion is producing, if you take and make, how does it look? The name itself says it looks like a penny, copper penny. Blast in a chromoblast. Chromoblast, you make coins from a chrome, no? Chrome say banate. So, copper penny appearance or murai forms appearance. Okay, copper penny, murai form, medlar appearance, everything. This, this question has been repeated many, many, many times. Okay, so that's why I'm stressing here. So, biopsy brown color, but it's also called as what? Now it's also called uh, one is your copper penny, other one is called sclerotic bodies, asteroid bodies. Us me hain sporotic is don't make us asteroid or flower copper asteroid hai. Theek hai? But sclerotic bodies, sclerotic chrome, chrome, sclerotic. Yeh pura metal ka sound aata hai na? Sclerotic, medlar body, copper penny, murai form. They all are for your chromoblastomycosis. That's it. So this much about the subcutaneous fungi. See, so easy. We finished half of the fungi now. So only diamorphic and systemic is left. That we will cover in the next class. Okay. So thank you guys. So for, you know, fungus should be very easy. Never make mistake. And then, uh, yeah, all the best. Okay. See you soon in the next class.